Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Archer's Garage and Whatnot. Today, we're back in the garage and we're doing some woodworking. And what are we building today? Building cornhole boards. Seems like everybody's favorite outdoor game right now. And uh, why not build some cornhole boards, right? They're easy. So, um, if you don't know what cornhole is, it's basically beanbag toss. And you have boards set out at a certain rate and you throw the beanbag through the hole. So, anyway, we're building these for a uh, very good friend of ours or two friends of ours actually they're getting married my wife's planning the wedding and i'm officiating the wedding so it's gonna be very informal and be outside a lot of games for the kids and stuff like that so why not have cornhole i mean it's gonna be fun right so anyway i hope you enjoy this video if you do hit the like button subscribe to the channel um let's get going all right so here we go on this one we are doing some pre-cut wood it was easier for my wife to get home from the store so she got some pre-cut wood now the only problem with this if you're doing like a regulation board there are some very specific sizes and plans this is a little smaller than that this is a quarter inch smaller but what do we care we're doing a, a backyard wedding and we're gonna have some fun with these things we're not we're not doing competition you know so anyhow so we're gonna get going on this um, this is birch wood and two by fours and basically that's what you need um your saws of course but anyway when it comes to lumber here's what it is all right so the first step is to cut your side two by four well the first step would be to cut this but we already had to pre up so anyway so i'm not going to give you the exact measurements because yours may be different if you're building a regulation board and this one is not um so for all intents and purposes they're 48 inches long they're a little shorter than that but that's it so 48 inches from front to back and then insides are going to be 21 inches so let me go ahead and cut those you need two of each two or two there you go all right so we got the boards cut out now keep in mind you're going to be doing double what i'm doing here because you got a board on either side of the game so i'm just doing the one here to uh make the video easier to follow um Anyhow, so the next step is we're going to be uh, building the frame. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this. Some people will drill. So this is the top down here. They'll drill through the top into this. I don't want screw heads exposed. Um, so I'm going to use my Craig jig in the corners. And if, if you've never used one, don't be afraid of them. They're very, very simple, very user friendly. So what you do... You see here you have, there's a scale in here, a fractional scale. Two by four is actually inch and a half. So you set it at an inch and a half, right? So then you've got this guy here. Here's your drill bit. He's got a collar so you don't drill too far. And inside the case, there's also a fractional scale. And you set it to inch and a half. And your, your screw holes are going to be perfect depth. So there you go. So we're going to screw here. Screw into here and into there. Now, the, another tool I got, this doesn't come with the Craig Jig kit, but it is for doing things like this. Once you get the, the pocket hole drilled, you stick this in the hole, this on the, on the outside, and you clamp it together, and it is not walking on you when you're trying to screw them down. So, very, very good tool to have. So, let's get going. Alright, so we got all the, the pocket holes screwed out. Now, if... If you're doing this and you're wondering what size screw you use, um, there is a chart for that. Uh, you just use your search engine, Google or whatever, and uh, pick out what screw you like best or which fits best. There you go. And um, if you have a question on, hey, is that too long? If you're, you know, if you're questioning the chart, you could always screw the screw through here and then hold it up next to here and see if it's going to stick out of this one. So... Give yourself a little little assurance there but the chart is right so trust that but anyhow so i'm gonna go ahead and set up the vice grip and i'll show you guys that once it's all set up so here is the vice grip portion of it set up so you see it goes inside one of the screw holes clamps down over here and it holds it good and firm so i've got it set up nice and square here um, of course i need to sand it but it's all it's all locked in it's not going anywhere there you go so anyway now i'm going to put my screws in and 
I'll see you guys when I get done doing the, the framework. All right, so this next step is a little more advanced than just your typical square, but it's not impossible. It's very, very easy once you've seen it done. So what we want to do is we want to figure out where to mount this and how to make it fold away. Now, you can just mount it and screw it together and leave it alone, but I want to be able to fold it away. So we're going to make a half circle here and I've cut this board too long on purpose so we have a little room to play with here so what we're going to do we're going to find out where the middle of this is where the middle of this is that way we can mark where we're going to put our lag screw so we can fold it but like i said you can find out where the middle of this is mark it here then you'll put it here you mark and then you figure out where the middle of this is and you mark there so very, very simple. So let me get my measurements going and I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, guys, so we're back. So if you're using a speed square, it's very easy because, you know, you put it up here and everything's in line. So I did inch and three quarter is your half, right? Then I did my speed square and I did my mark, okay? Then you line it up here. You mark here on your speed square. Then you measure this one, inch and three quarter again, run your speed square. And that's where you drill your hole for the lag that's going to do this. It's going to move your leg. Don't forget, you also have to make a half circle here. And it's as simple as that. Now, like I said, if you, if you wanted to leave it stationary, boom, screw it together. But we want to be able to fold it away. All right, so we got our holes drilled for the bolts. Now comes the fun part of figuring out where to draw the angles. And I just took a piece of wire, cut it, clamp it on either side, and then you'll trace that and you cut it out with a jigsaw or bandsaw, whatever you've got. So pretty simple. And then next we're gonna do the angle of the feet and you measure from here to here I'll give you the measurements as soon as we get done with that let me let me go ahead and cut these out and I'll get back with you on the measurements on this here all right guys so we got this cut out what I did I cut it out with my jigsaw then I put it on the sander got them cut out all right so now you're gonna want to measure straight across mark that and then we're measuring the line where we're gonna cut to give it the the correct stance when it's you know when these things are like that you know when they're upright because the board it, you know it doesn't sit like that now the regulation numbers are 8 and 43 64 so something like that. so essentially 8 and 11 16 so 8 and 11 16 by 9 and a quarter so that, easy enough so anyway so like i said you take your your speed square put it across here you measure it and then you measure there to there make your line We'll cut that. Easy peasy. All right, so the next step is cutting the hole for the bean bags to go into. <clears throat> I've turned it over, so I'll have some play for my router bit to go in when I'm cutting out the hole. Um, now, this is a special tool. I like to do things on this channel that you don't have to use special tools, but I happen to have this one, so I'm going to use it because it makes very nice holes. You could absolutely do this with the jigsaw. Uh, you just have to be careful and probably require a little bit of sanding but anyhow the way this thing mounts up is this mounts to your router <clears throat> you drill a hole you uh, put a screw in here and it rotates on that and then you use this gauge here to set where or how big of a hole you want so this one's gonna be six inches so anyhow so you do that you set all this up and you set your depth of your router bit and you go in a circle and it's simple as that
right, guys. Simple as that. And that pulls out of here. Anyhow, so there's your hole. You got to do a little sanding there where my bit bit in a little bit deep there. But uh, anyway, there she is. All right, so there we go. We got the hole cut. I went ahead and cut the one in the other board also since I had my jig set up. Um, now I'm going to fasten the top to the body. I'm going to go ahead and just glue it. You can put screws in there. I don't want to take the chance of having a blowout or being able to see uh, screw heads or anything. So I've got really good glue. So I'm going to glue it, clamp it, and I got to go to the hardware store and get some, some hardware for the legs. And then on to the second one. But it's essentially, this is done. I'll be back with you when I get the hardware. Show you how it all looks when it's said and done. But this is essentially it. All right, guys. So the glue is set. Today's the next day. Um, we got our pieces cut out, right? So they go in here and they can fold up, right? Here's the hardware that we're using, we're using carriage bolts. So they can go in here and it will be flush mounted once the nut draws it through. And this uh, square piece here will go in there and it'll provide clamping force once the nut is on there. These are 7 16 The plans I saw called for 3 8 um, I don't, I don't know. I, I just felt better about, about this size. So anyhow, using 7 16 and I want to say they were 4 inches. I may be wrong on that, but uh, it's basically two 2 by 4s and then a little bit. So... There you go, guys. And we're using, on this end, flat washer and a nut. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, guys. There she is in all her glory. Um, one thing I'm going to do differently, I'm going to go to the hardware store. I'm either going to double nut the nuts on the inside or I'm going to buy a locking nut. So that's the only thing. I think with using them, it'll loosen the nuts up. But um, anyway, so I'm going to secure that. But there's that. I'm making the other one right now. He's all glued up. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, like it, subscribe to the channel, and there's more to come just like this. So I just wanted to make it aware that you can build things, you can fix things, do all kinds of stuff like that with common hand tools. You don't need to go pay big, big money for stuff that you can do yourself. Uh, the only really special tool I use or special T tool I used was to cut the hole, but you can do that with a jigsaw. So um, there you go, guys. There she is. I hope you enjoyed it.